Are you suffering from a pneumonia, an infection of your throat, or maybe a wound infection? Then it might be that your doctor prescribed you azithromycin, also known as Citromax. In this video, we will cover how and when to use it, what are possible side effects, and much, much more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. And for those of you I'm meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul. I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands, and it's my mission to medically educate my viewers so they can make healthier decisions. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. I'm just a random doctor from the internet. I'm not your personal doctor, so I can't give personal information. So let's get started. As mentioned, the generic name of this medication is azithromycin and it's sold under the brand name Zitromax. And it's available as a tablet or a suspension. Now, if you want to use it as a tablet, just swallow the tablet whole with half a glass of water. And if you want to use it as a suspension, add the right amount to a glass of water, stir the water and drink it whole. Furthermore, it's best to take azithromycin at a fixed time. This will make you less likely to forget a dose and you could do this before, during or after a meal. And a quick tip, if azithromycin makes you sick, then it's best to take it during or right after a meal. This might decrease its side effects. Azithromycin is part of a group of drugs called macrolides. Those are antibiotics that can be used to treat several kinds of bacteria. For example, it can be used to treat an infection of your respiratory tract, like pneumonia, an infection of someone's urogenital tract, like an STD or a urinary tract infection, an infection of the skin, like a wound infection, and gastrointestinal infections, like a throat infection. Which brings us to the correct dosages to use. And here I want to mention that I can only provide you with a guideline. Always use the prescribed amount of frequency your doctor gave you, as dosages might differ depending on your indication of use, your side effects, and the severity of your symptoms. However, when treating mouse infections in adults and children weighing more than 45 kilograms, your doctor might prescribe a dose of 500 milligrams once a day for three to five days. One of the exceptions on this rule is treating chlamydia. Then your doctor might prescribe a one-time dose of 1000 milligrams. Now, azithromycin can be a very effective drug, but unfortunately, it can also cause some side effects. I will mention some of the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, always ask your doctor, your pharmacist, or check your leaflet. Very commonly, it might cause nausea, abdominal pain, flatulence, and diarrhea. And commonly, it can cause vomiting, skin rash, itching, taste disturbances, visual impairment, and deafness. Uncommonly, it can cause palpitations, inflammation of your stomach, liver or vagina, a hypersensitivity reaction, a skin rash, edema and nervousness, and rarely it might cause irritability, vertigo, liver dysfunction and several serious side effects. Which brings us to the safety of use. And here it is important to mention that there are no limitations when using azithromycin. You can combine it with any type of food and you can drive safely when using it. However, it can cause interactions with other drugs you might be taking. Always discuss this with your personal doctor. Furthermore, when pregnant or when breastfeeding, azithromycin can usually be used safely. However, always discuss this with your personal doctor. Now, I hope you know now how to use azithromycin, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section, because educated people make healthier decisions. Also, click that like button. This will help out my channel tremendously and consider subscribing. I'm posting weekly medical videos to educate you, and by clicking that button, you can help me to reach my next milestone, 100,000 subscribers. Thank you all for watching. A special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an Investity supporter. And I will see you all next week. And if you can't get enough, I also have an Instagram account, at How to Medicate. I see you there, or I see you next week. Bye bye.